Live from across the tri-states, this is KHQA This Morning. It's your news now. Quincy Community Theater This Morning. What are you up to, Kristen? Well, I am ready to come out and get out on stage this morning. We are here at the Quincy Community Theater and we are talking Peter Pan. We've all heard the fairy tale about the little boy who never wanted to grow up. I don't want to grow up. Now we're going to hear what goes into getting ready for the play and auditions. You're watching KHQA this morning. All right. Well, our very own Kristen Aguirre is out and about in the Tri-State area this morning. She is live this morning at the Quincy Community Theater where she always has a good time. Well, good morning. We're here at the Quincy Community Theater, and I am having a blast with all of these props. Now, take a look. Do you know what these are for? We have toys, feathers, Indians. I wish there was a hook around here. <laughs> but let's tell everyone, what are these props for? Well, we are getting ready to have auditions for our next student production, which is Peter Pan. And we're doing it a little bit differently than perhaps the normal, traditional way that people have seen Peter Pan done and so we have pulled a bunch of these props and they are going to help us in telling the story and we'll talk more about that later on today. Now we have auditions coming up and um, we're looking for about seven to ten actors for um, what grades? Uh, students who are currently in grades six through twelve and we're going to tell the story with only about seven to ten actors so perhaps people are used to seeing the story being done in a very large lavish way with a huge cast well we're going to shrink it down and about eight actors will tell the whole story and they'll keep switching characters and they'll use a bunch of these props to tell the story now we are in the room where the play is actually going to take place but there is a lot that goes into getting ready for a play like this not just i mean getting your actors obviously very important but there's a lot of background stuff absolutely after you pick the show you have to decide what are we going to do with it? How are we going to tell the story? What should the scenery look like? The background? What should they wear? What kind of props should we use? What should the lighting look like? So uh, there's a whole production team and the director and the production team, like the set designer, the costume designer, they sit around a table and they talk about how they want to tell the story. What should the set look like? And so we've decided that we're going to set Peter Pan in an attic. Ooh, well, we are going to get an inside look this morning to what that roundtable discussion would really look like, and we're going to show you how it's all done getting prepared here for Peter Pan. Back to you guys at the station. I think I missed a, a good segue there when I was talking about LL Cool J not being a pirate going to Peter Pan and Captain Hook. Yeah, I want to see HBA's own Kristen Aguirre is out and about in the Tri-States this morning. She's at the Quincy Community Theater trying Having out for a play, maybe? A little fun, as she always yeah. does. Hey, Kristen. Well, we are here at the Quincy Community Theater, and we are getting gearing up for Peter Pan. That's their latest play they'll be hosting here. And I, I just, I can't get over. There's so many props here. Every time you guys come back to me, I'm going to have something new in my hand. Um, but uh, auditions are going to be held here at later, at later at the end of the month. But it's not about, all about the actors, although, I mean, it kind of is. But <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes to get ready for uh, a play like this. Absolutely. There's a whole team. Uh, and so it starts first where everyone in the team uh, reads the script, and then we talk about how we want to, to do it. And so, for example, we're talking about setting Peter Pan upstairs in an old attic and the kids are playing the story Peter Pan. So then we have to decide what the attic is going to look like. So our set designer uh, makes draws a picture of it and we talk about what we like, what we don't like, um, how we need to fix things, how we can see it being practical. Then once we approve that, the set designer will make a model. Now right here, we have a little model, and this is for our upcoming show called The Rainmaker, which opens the beginning of May. So he makes a model to scale, and this allows both the director and the actors to see how the set will be used uh, before they've actually built it. And it lets us know then if things are going to work or not. This is so cool. Um, it def definitely gives you kind of a different look as to, you know, the audiences here and all that, all of that. So we're going to continue to show you what it's like behind the scenes here at the Quincy Community Theater, and we are gearing up for Peter Pan. But can't forget, auditions coming up, and we're going to try out for the part. We're sitting in here, uh, me and Neil, our research and development team, quoting Derek Zoolander. Yeah. Is this a stage for ants? <laughs> No nope. ants. Checking in with Kristen Aguirre once again, who's having a little fun um, looking at props and such for yeah. the new play for Quincy Community Theater. If you like Peter Payne, then this is a, this is a time to watch the TV. Kristen?
That's right. The Quincy Community Theater is gearing up for its latest play, Peter Pan. Auditions are set for the end of the month. Now we're giving you a backstage look at what really goes on. And we're going to my favorite part, the costume room. So, I mean, I've never been into something like this, and we have Brandon here waiting for us. So, Brandon, what goes on back here? Well, uh, we we talk about the look of the show. We have to decide uh, the set, and we also have to decide what they're going to wear. So, here we are in the costume shop. Uh, QCT's costumer is Anna, and she reads the script and decides what she wants them to wear, what they should look like. And so, she might go find things at thrift stores. We have a huge stock of costumes in our basement, and sometimes she actually builds them. And we have just a few of the things uh, still hanging here. Uh, some things are in preparation for our next show, The Rainmaker, and mm -hmm. some are just fun leftovers. This is the cape worn by the White Witch in uh, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. And uh, who knows, this might make a fun piece for Peter Pan, which we Ooh. have coming yeah. up at the end of April. And what do you think? This might be a great a Captain, Captain Hook. Hook. You don't think Captain Hook would wear a sombrero? Well, maybe in our version he could. <laughs> maybe in my Mexican, I'm open. Maybe in my Latina version, Captain Hook wears a sombrero. I'm open. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, coming up later in the show, we're going to continue to give you a backstage look of how the Quincy Community Theater is preparing for its latest show, Peter Pan. We are going behind the scenes at the Quincy Community Theater, gearing up for their latest play. Your Thursday morning starts now. Hola. Justin Aguirre joins us live this morning. She is hanging out with Brandon at the Quincy Community Theater. Yeah, playing a little Peter Pan, Kristen. Well, the Quincy Community Theater is gearing up for its latest play, Peter Pan. Auditions will be held later at the end of this month, but there's a lot that goes into getting ready for this play, and we are in the scene shop now. Oh. This is so huge. I mean, I've never seen anything like this behind the scenes. So what goes on in here? Well, uh, we've we've talked about the set design already. So with Peter Pan, we're setting it in an attic. Um, so first you draw what it's going to look like. Then we showed you the model for the Rainmaker, which is our show in May. So we build the little model. Then we have to make the real thing come to life. Mm -hmm. And this is Quincy Community Theater. So we rely on the community. So volunteers come in and help out our design designers and set builders with building and painting and then moving it out onto the big stage. So this is the room where they build and paint the scenery. Now I've been to a few of the plays and the scenes are, the actual stage are, they're so detailed and they always have, you know, just makes you really feel like you're at the place that the, the scene, uh, the play is seen at. So it, it's almost, you can't believe that volunteers actually put in their time and to do all this. Well, we really appreciate that kind of acknowledgement that mm -hmm. we do like to work on the details so we go that extra mile so it makes the whole experience complete for our patrons like you. So what are some details uh, that'll be worked out back here for Peter Pan? Well, with Peter Pan, we're setting it in an attic so a lot of it is about the props but we're going to paint it so it looks like that old old house with the wood and it's old and dusty. Ooh, so if you want to see the final product make sure you come out to see Peter Pan. Don't forget at the end of this month there are auditions and coming up I'm gonna have my big audition. Do you think I should be Wendy or Captain Hook? Tweet me out your answer. Mm. All right, thanks Kristen. Time now for your well, we are gearing up for the Peter Pan, Peter Pan play here at the Quincy Community Theater. And coming up after the break, I'm taking off my reporter hat, put it on my Captain Hook hat. You're watching KHQA this morning. Folks at the Quincy Community Theater have allowed Kristen Aguirre to show up one more time. Yeah, she's uh, getting involved with the Peter Pan coming up. What's going on, Kristen? Well, all morning long, we've been giving you an inside look and behind the scenes look here at the Quincy Community Theater as they're gearing up for their latest play, Peter Pan. Um, auditions are going to be held at the, later at the end of this month. So now, show everyone the costume, the set design. Now it's time for my big debut. So what am I going to be doing? All right. Well, you're going to read as Captain Hook. Hence the hat, which we found in the costume shop. And in this scene, uh, Captain Hook is talking to his right-hand man, Smee, and they've just discovered where Peter Pan and the Lost Boys live. And he's come up with a plan how he can get rid of Peter Pan. And so you're going to read Captain Hook. Oh, and do you have the hanger? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so we have Here's the hanger. Hook to be your hook because in our production of Peter Pan we're going to use our imagination and do it with a bunch of these props so right. have at it you've just okay. discovered where he lives okay did you hear a mother's voice down there no of course why didn't I think of this before we will return to the ship and cook a large rich cake of jolly thickness with green sugar on it we will leave the cake on the shore of the mermaid's lagoon 
These boys are always swimming about there, playing with the mermaids. They will find the cake and they will gobble it up because they don't have a mother and they don't know how dangerous it is to eat a damp cake. Ha ha ha, they will die. Patsy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You're so diabolical. Yeah. Your viewers know you as the sweet, kind Kristen, but really there's that evil Captain Hook lurking inside of you that you're releasing to the ma the masses. <laughs> <laughs> now, if kids want to come out here and audition, what can they do? All right. Well, they have to call Quincy Community Theater to schedule an audition appointment. It's about 45 minutes. Uh, they should read the script, which is available on our website. And uh, then when you come to the audition, just, you know, um, give us your imagination and, and it's about connecting with these characters and connecting with your scene partners. All right, well, for more information, go ahead and check us out on our website, connecttristates.com. <laughs> nice. Well done, very, Kristen. Very good. Very now, good.